Josh, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. It is 8.08 .08 a.m. and Boo was just in the hallway acting like a nut. And I was like, what are you doing, Boo? And it was like he was trying to get my attention. So I followed him into his room and he jumped up by the window and I looked out the window. And look what I saw. I saw Ditto and Hydrox. I actually saw Ditto sitting like a little loaf near the side of the garage just like waiting. And then I guess Hydrox just came out of his house and they want some food. But they're going to have to wait because I'm just getting dressed and starting my day. So we're going to have to wait about 10 minutes. It's 8.30 a.m. and I'm outside. I'm giving them food and look at this. These, these food bowls are completely frozen. That's like frozen with water. So the temperature dropped today and we're just below freezing. So hopefully we don't get snow, but I have to get the ice out of these and then I'm putting some food in and hopefully they eat the food fast. Good morning, Ditto. Good morning, Ditto. How are you? So Ditto and Hydrox are eating their food. I am also putting a can full of dry food in the bowl of the feeder because it's empty. I just looked at it and I do have to adjust that, but I'm not going to do it right now because it's below freezing. My hair is soaking wet and I'm still not ready for my day. Ditto has decided he's going to eat the dry food. So they each got a full can of Trader Joe's turkey and giblets. And they also got all the dry food. And Hydrax is eating the wet food if he finishes this wet food. Then he has all of this wet food. And that was a really good portion of dry food. Today is day 18 of the reverse advent calendar for cats. And there's Boo. He's on the stairs. Hello, Boo. Today we are filling compartment number 18 and we are filling it with two cans of the wholehearted grain-free cat food and this is the masterfully minced turkey recipe. Today for breakfast the cats are trying this wholehearted cat food. Uh, this is turkey with veggies recipe and these are mouth-watering morsels. The cats have never had this variety of this food before so we'll see how they like it. And the ingredients are turkey broth, turkey, dried egg product, tapioca starch, carrots, peas, pea protein, tricalcium phosphate, salt, natural flavor, and then we go into all kinds of vitamins and minerals. So as far as veggies go, it's really just some carrots and peas, and, and I don't think there's a whole lot of them because they are like number five and six on this list of ingredients. So we'll open this up and we'll see what it looks like. And this is what it looks like. And there are surprisingly more veggies than I thought there would be. Now the question is, will the cats eat them? We've seen the cats spit out peas before. So we'll see if they eat them or they leave them on their plate. So this is what the mouth watering morsels look like. I believe the last time the cats tried the minced food, which was much smaller pieces. And these are, to me, these like remind me of tuna, like the way that these are kind of just, just like flakes or shapes or anything. I will be adding a little bit of water to this. I probably added about a fourth cup of water to this. Unfortunately, I didn't measure how much water, so that's just an approximation. And this is what it looks like on their plate. Adding additional water gives the cats additional liquid in their diet and it makes the food moister so it basically just increases the amount of gravy in this food. Okay, we'll see if the cats like this. There you go guys. Today for breakfast we're having turkey with veggies. And Splash says he wants nothing to do with it. You're not running upstairs, Splash. Flashy. Flashy Splashy, you are going to eat your food. Here Flashy Splashy, you eat here. Everyone is enjoying their meal. Except for Splash, he's just looking at his plate. And there he goes. 
I just followed Splash upstairs with the food and he smelled it and he walked away and he doesn't want to eat it. So I'm going to have to pick it up because if the other cats get to it, someone could eat the whole thing. Then they might overeat and be sick. So this is Simba's plate and he just ran upstairs also. So I don't know if he's too thrilled with this. There's Stella's plate. It looks like she's eating around the peas. Looks like she pushed them all to the side. Stella walked away from her plate also, and that's the one Boo's eating off of right now. So what I did was I kind of just scraped together uh, Boo's plate and Simba's plate. I'm just gonna leave it here. We'll see if Boo eats them. And I picked up Splash's plate. So this food was definitely not really a hit with the cats. I think they ate some because they were hungry. And, you know, Boo likes anything in a can, so he's not a really good gauge. But Splash won't eat it, and Simba only ate half of his, and Stella only ate half of hers. I am here with Stella, and it is morning mail time. Hello, Stella, let's open up some mail. I don't know how much we're going to be able to open right now, but we'll open some of it. And then we can open some later or tomorrow. I've been trying to film mail times for quite a while now, but by the time I get home, it's dark and the lighting is bad. So that's why I'm trying to do some morning mail time. We got a card here. Come on, Stella, sit down. Lay down here. Lay down, Stella. Okay, I know what I need to do. I just gave Stella, I just gave Stella a little nip for uh, helping me here. So we got a card. Stella, what did you get? Oh, there's Simba. Simba wants to see what's going on. He says, don't forget me. Oh, look at this. Look at this card. Look how sparkly it is. It looks like a baby Stella. Stella looks like you when you were a baby. I never saw Stella when she was a baby, so. But I would assume that's what she looks like. Look how cute. It says, you're the cat's meow. Oh, it says, Dear Lucky Grandma Feral, Grandpa Feral, Queen Stella, Boo, Simba, Splash, and Hydrox. Merry Christmas to one of the best humans and cats I know. Happy Mew Year too. Meow, meow Christmas to all. Purrs from Patricia Kerrigan. Thank you so much, Patricia. And look, there's a Petco gift card. That is so awesome. The cats have really been enjoying the wholehearted food from Petco. And I also get all of their cat litter there. So thank you so much, Patricia. Okay, Stella. Okay, Stella, let's open another card. Let's open this card. It has a pretty envelope. Look at the stickers on it. And this card says, the true gifts of Christmas are for the heart to enjoy. And look at the cat looking out of the window. That, that looks just like Simba from behind. And that's what Simba does. Simba gets on top of the couch and he looks out of the window. May God's love always bless you. His joy always fill you. His presence always keep you close to all that is good. And this says, 2LR, Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Boo, and Grandma too. Wishing you God's best at Christmas and in the new year. Best wishes, Joanne De Janeiro. Thank you so much, Joanne, for this lovely card. Okay, Stella, let's open another card. Let's do this, huh? Okay, you want it? You want, it? You want the envelope? Here, I'll give you the envelope. You can have the envelope. And this card says Merry Christmas. And look at that. It looks like Jesus, Mary, Joseph, and a bunch of angels. And it has arrows, so I'm assuming it pull. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at this card. Oh, my gosh. This is like a card that you could, I'm assuming you could stand it up and, like, put it on a table. I don't know, but look at that. 
That's like an amazing card. That is so cool, Stella. And this says it is from Janet Stemper. Neapolitan Baroque Crash detail. Oh, that is so cool. Thank you so much, Janet, for this awesome card. Again, look at this. Look at that card. That's really cool. Stella, are you drinking? Stella, are you drunk? Are you drunk, Stella? Okay. We'll open one more card. And this card says Christmas wishes with a snowman and a birdhouse. It says wishing you all a meowy holiday season. Hey Stella. Special wishes are sent your way for the merriest ever Christmas day. Love Kim, Kitty, and Zoe. Thank you guys so much for this awesome card and Stella thanks you too. Okay, Stella, we'll do one more. Here's another card, Stella. Look at this. This is Happy Holidays, Love Community Cats. And look at all the cute kittens that are on this card. Unfortunately, I don't know their names because there's been so many cats on the Community Cats YouTube channel over the past year. I have a really hard time keeping track of all the cats. But if you have not already done so, please go on YouTube and check out Community Cats. Just search for Community Cats. That's the name of the channel. And go there and watch the videos and subscribe because it is awesome content. Stephanie at that channel does such a great job with all of the foster cats that are in her care. Splash was looking around for food upstairs, so I was able to get him downstairs by himself, and I gave him his breakfast, and I put some crunchies around the plate and a little bit on top of his food, so we'll see if he eats it. So I'm just gonna keep the door shut for like, I don't know, five minutes or so, and then I'll open it, because if the other cats come down, they'll try to eat it off of him. It is 10 a.m. right now, and I wanna show you what is happening in this yard so hydroxy shelter is there on the right of the screen and then there's several shrubs next to it and this is what these shrubs look like i mean there's a little bit of ice on this one there's less ice on this one and then this one has hardly any and then hydrox's house really doesn't have any ice on it at all so this is what it looks like in Hydrox's neighborhood. Now, if we move about 10 feet away from Hydrox's house um, in an area that's like not part of the sheltered patio, I mean, look at all of the ice on this tree or this large bush. It's just covered in ice. This one is also covered in ice. Look at these tree branches covered in ice. This is probably about 20 feet away from Hydrox's shelter. And thankfully it's starting to warm up right now, so some of this ice is melting off. But still, I mean, look, it's just covered. Look at all of that ice, it's just covered. This is all ice. The tops of these shrubs are all ice. Look at these trees, they almost look like crystals. That's crazy, I mean, they are just covered in ice. And here's Hydrox's shelter and all of his decorations, and look, there's no ice, nowhere. Hydrox is in his shelter right now, I could see him, but 
this just shows you that he has like a separate microclimate right here. And if you look at the thermometer, the snowman thermometer, it's actually reading above 70 degrees because the sun is hitting it and warming it up. This is the front yard now, look. I mean, it's just more ice. It is 6.24 p.m. right now and Simba is in a timeout because I was trying to film him here on the rug because I wanted to tell you like what just happened with me and Simba and Simba was sitting here and Boo walks in the room. He like just walks in the room and Simba just smacks him like like really just smacked him on the head. Are you okay, Boo? You okay? And I felt like it was really unwarranted because just a little while ago, they were like playing with each other. And when I say playing with each other, I mean, they weren't like rolling around together or anything like that, but they were kind of chasing each other around the house in a playful way. It was not malicious at all. And I remember thinking, oh wow, this is, they're making great progress. They were playing with each other kind of the way like Simba plays with Splash, that kind of thing. Um, and I thought it was great and they ate together. There was no problems. And I wanted to tell you about what happened with Simba. So I'll tell you why we, uh, I'll pet Boo and then I'll tell you what happened with Simba. So I went downstairs to get some water because I keep uh, like cases of bottled water downstairs. I also have the water filter on a faucet down there. And I'll just go and I'll fill up a pitcher of filtered water and I'll use that. And so I went down to get some water and Simba followed me down. He was like at my heels the whole time. And again, it was like he was trying to tell me something. And then when I tried to walk up the stairs, again, he was at my heels, but he would just like, he would like run a few stairs ahead of me and block my way. And he would like look at me and I'm like, what do you want, Simba? I said, what do you want? Do you want some treats? So I walked downstairs, he followed me downstairs again. He was like at my heels. He was like, I gotta tell you something. He's like, you gotta do something, you gotta do something. And so I gave him the treats and he didn't want them. And I was like, that is weird. So I start walking up the stairs and he's doing the same thing again. It's like he's at my heels and every time I take a step, he like jumps right in front of me so I can't go up the stairs. And then I would try to go around him and he would do the same thing. He would jump up in front of me. Like it was seriously like you see in like a Lassie movie or something. Like you know how the dog is trying to get the attention of the owner. It was something like that. It was crazy. And it was like, oh my, he was almost like frantic about it. And I was like, what do you want Simba? So then I said, do you want some crunchies? So I went down again. He followed me down. He was at my feet and I put some crunchies out and he didn't want the crunchies. But Boo and Stella came running and they ate the crunchies. So I tried going upstairs again and he kept doing the same thing again. And at that point, I was like, well, what's going on? Like, why is he doing this? It was starting to freak me out. I'm like, are all the cats okay? Like, is something like not right? Because again, because you normally see this on TV or in movies, when an, am when an animal is acting like this, they're trying to tell you something. So I was like, Simba, I don't understand. I gave you treats, you didn't want them. I gave you crunches, you didn't want them. What are you trying to tell me? At which point he reminded me that I needed to refill the litter boxes because they were low on litter. About an hour or two ago, I scooped out all the litter boxes and there's two upstairs and there's two downstairs. And the two upstairs especially were running really low on litter and I needed to top them up. Like I needed to put more litter in them because it's the clumping litter and as the cats use them, the litter clumps up and every time you scoop it, you know, you're scooping out a good portion of the litter. So I need to, you know, put more litter in the litter boxes. And as I was scooping the litter, like I made a mental note, okay, I have to remember to fill these up and I need to fill them up. And I've made that mental note like every day for the past several days as I've been doing the litter and I keep forgetting to refill them. And today I would have totally forgot again if Simba did not remind me. And here's where it gets even more strange. So I get the litter, I open a new box of litter, 
I put more litter in the litter boxes downstairs and I put more litter in the litter boxes upstairs. So I put a lot more litter in all four litter boxes. I practically used, you know, a 20 pound box of Dr. LC's. There's only a little bit left in the box. And I noticed that as I was doing this, after I went back downstairs and I put the litter away, Simba was no longer bothering me. He was no longer at my feet. He was no longer blocking me on the stairs. And that's how I was like, okay, I must have done the right thing. He must have really been telling me that I needed to refill the litter because all of a sudden he's just acting normal again. Like, isn't that so weird? So the moral of this story is if your cat is acting strange, chances are very good they are trying to tell you something. So don't just like shoo them off and be like, you know, stop acting crazy and don't just think they're acting crazy for no reason. Talk to them and ask them what they want, what they're trying to tell you, because if you're able to keep a still mind, like if you're able to get beyond your own thoughts, so your mind is in a receptive, empty state, you'll actually be able to hear them tell you what they're doing and why they're doing it. In which case today Simba was telling me that I needed to fill up the litter boxes. So that's where we get to the point where Simba just smacked Boo because I wanted to film this with Simba sitting here so I could, you know, tell you what he just did. But instead, the minute Boo walked in the room, Simba smacked him pretty hard on the head and it was totally uncalled for. So I then picked up Simba and I put him on my bed and that's where he's been. So let's go check on him. Hello, Simba. Simba. Why did you hit Boo? Simba, why did you hit Boo? Why? Why did you hit him? Why did you bop him on the head? Because he bops you on the head? Because you don't like it when you're trying to eat and he bops you on the head? That's why? I know Simba, but that's not right. You know you shouldn't bop him on the head for no reason when he walks in the room like that. And he should not bop you on the head when he wants to eat. Especially when he wants to steal your food, right Simba? It is 9.10 p.m. and we have a new automatic feeder for inside. This is the exact same pet safe automatic feeder that has been outside for the past three years. It's obviously the same model. It's a new one. I just got it. It was on sale um, on Amazon. Um, so the one that I bought three years ago for outside, I paid like $130 for it. And this one was on sale for like $85. So when I saw it at that price, I said, let me get that. And I want to see what happens if I keep it inside for the cats. And maybe this could dispense crunchies for them at night. Um, or if I'm traveling, like if I'm away overnight somewhere, uh, then this could feed them crunchies. Because the feeders that they have uh, when I'm away only gives them four meals. It doesn't give them any crunchies. The other thing that this could do is if I need to be away for five meals, this could serve as the fifth meal. I have a tray on the bottom here because it only comes with the bowl. And with four cats, they're not gonna share uh, out of one bowl. Now when Stella and Simba and Splash lived outside, uh, they were all much smaller cats like Splash and Simba were just little kittens, so there was no problem with the three of them eating out of the bowl together. Even now, I think maybe the three of them would, but I think the bowl is probably too small for three grown cats. But I'm thinking if the food can be dispensed on this tray, then uh, the four of them can eat it at the same time. Uh, this is an experiment. We're going to see what happens. I am going to dispense some food, and uh, we'll see if the cats eat it, if they get in a fight. Um, just like what happens.
Okay, so something is wrong because this is only supposed to dispense a quarter of a cup. And it's just going and going and going. That is way more than a quarter of a cup. Like, I'm gonna have to pick that stuff up. So here's what's going on, so. Boo's eating, Stella's eating, Simba's eating, and Splash is trying to figure out where he fits in. There he goes. It looks like they're actually moving that tray a bit. So I would need to figure out a way to keep the tray near the feeder and not like, you know, inches away. Unless I get a larger tray and put the feeder itself on the tray, which could work. <laughs> They've eaten all the crunchies on one side of that tray and Pooh's on the other side. He's like, don't come near my crunchies. <laughs> Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.